Hey, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm going to show you how to get your shots off the internal storage on your drones. Maybe you have the Mavic Air or you have the Mavic 2 Pro, which is currently my favorite drone, and they have internal storage. So I'm going to show you how to get that footage off the internal storage the quickest and easiest way and then how to get the shots out of the clips. What I mean by that, what I mean is when you're rolling and you're shooting, you're shooting a longer video than you normally need. And what you're doing is you're looking for those few seconds in there, which I would call the shots. Those are the interesting moments you want to show to your audience. So the first thing that we want to do is get our footage off there. And I've found a very easy way to do it is to use the DJI Copilot by Lassie. And you can simply connect from USB directly to your drone. And then you can just push this button here and it will transfer all the footage off of here and copy it onto your drive. Makes it really easy to do that. And then once you've done that, you put it onto your machine. So here we are, we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro right now. So here I am in Premiere. First thing I wanna do is import the media. So I'm gonna double click on there. And let me just go to the desktop because I put this little clip in there. And we're just gonna import that quickly. All right, so let's have a look at the clip we have here. If I double click, it loads up here into our source monitor and I can hit the space bar to play or I can just hit the play button there. And you'll notice here, we've got a minute and 40. And you can see, you know, we're kind of going through here. Some of this is interesting, but people don't want to watch the whole minute and 40 to get to those interesting shots. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. The first thing I'm going to do though, is I want to create a new timeline here. So we need a sequence and then we can just grab our clip and if we click it and drag it here into this little new document icon, it's going to create that timeline right now. And the sequence is actually going to be set to the size and the frame rate and everything of your video. So you don't have to do any settings now because I don't want to use the whole clip. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select it and just delete it. All I wanted to do was just create the sequence with it for now. All right, so let's have a look at the shot. So if we scrub in here, we can see we've got, you know, just an overall shot there of everything. And we can see we've got a sea lion there. That's interesting. What else have we got? We've got a nice flying in shot as I'm tilting the camera down. That's nice. And then we got a little rotation there, which, you know, is not bad. And then I know I've got another shot where I pull out and I show the entire environment. So right now I see three shots in here. Why don't we start off with this beginning shot so we're just going to go to about here, right before that C line pops its head up. And I'm going to hit the N I key for in. Hit the space bar, let it play for a few seconds. And I'm just going to hit the space bar to stop it. Uh, I could keep playing if I wanted, but I'm just going to hit the O key right now to set the out point. And what it's done is it's just given us this little clip here, and we can just click and drag that now and we get that sequence in there. I'm going to show you an alternative method in a second, but right now you can see, you know, the whole clip is actually in there. If I clicked and dragged, I could pull the whole thing out. So it's not deleting anything. All it's doing is focusing on that section. All right, so let's move up to, you know, where we're flying in. I'm going to hit the I for the in point. Let it play. This is looking kind of nice. And I'm going to hit O about here right after that bird because that was kind of nice little interesting thing going on there. See the bird flying through there and we can click and drag that into our timeline. All right, let's go to a shot where we're looking at the top and we'll wait for it to be nice and straight there. Let's see. Okay. So I flew around to get it centered. We got some good sea lion action going on there. So I'm going to hit the I key to set the new endpoint, and I'm just going to play that and then just hit the out key right there. Nice. So now we've got these three clips and let's go once again, we want to bring this shot out. So let's just hit the I key and we've got this slowly flying out shot as I'm tilting the gimbal up as I'm flying out. And you can see eventually we're going to reveal our whole environment. There we go. And that's a nice way to close out that clip. So I'm going to hit the O key right there, click and drag that down. So what we've done now, instead of having this long boring clip, We've got the clip here and I can play it. Of course, we could add some music to it. We could spruce it up however we want. Maybe I'm going to throw some transitions in there. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to hit command or control D for default. And now we're going to play this back.
Okay, as you can see there, that's a much more interesting sequence of events rather than just watching that whole video all the way through. Now you can do other things like color grading and speed ramping, and I have other tutorials on those. I'll add links to those underneath. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you another method if you don't wanna build it on your timeline and you wanna save those clips for later on. So what we can do, say for example, we've got this clip that we just created there, is if we right click on this, we can choose to make a sub clip. And we click on the sub clip here and we can call this reveal. And this has restrict trims to uh, sub clip boundaries, meaning that it's going to be set to that and you can't re edit or re time it. So I'm actually going to turn that option off just to give that flexibility and click OK. And notice now we've got another clip here. Now it's a sub clip called reveal and we can drag that out and you'll notice it's exactly the same thing we did before but we're able to save them here and build our projects later on. So anyway, if you don't have a Premiere Pro right now, you'll get two months free of the entire Adobe Creative Cloud with the DJI Copilot drive here. Uh, check out the review I did. Um, this is made by Lassie, the same people that make the rugged drive. And this is a really great accessory for the drone. I like to pop this in my bag and use it all the time um, when I'm out shooting. So anyway, I've got one more video I'm doing in this three-part series, and the last video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to match color between different clips, so check that one out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now, um, smash that like button into dust, and add a comment. I'd love to know what kind of drone are you guys flying right now, or are you looking to purchase a drone? Uh, let me know. I'm really curious. So anyway, until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.